detox juice and I love this one because it has a combination of basil and cilantro which adds a really nice kick and detox element to this juice. So you'll need cucumber, spinach, basil, ginger, cilantro, lemon, green apple, and some celery. So you wanna go ahead and cut up, wash everything, and I just like to put everything into a big bowl and just like chop it small enough so it fits into your juicer. I'm using this Jack LaLanne one. It's not an expensive one, but I'll link it down below and it works really well for me. Um, and I've had it, actually got it as a hand-me-down from my boyfriend's mom, and it definitely does the trick. So I'm just gonna keep throwing in all my fruits and veggies into the juicer until I've juiced everything up. Serve your green juice in a really cute mason jar and go ahead and drink this down. I love this recipe because it's a great beginner's uh, juice recipe for anyone who's new to juicing or just wants a good basic green juice to try. The second juice we're going to be making is this purple antioxidant detox juice recipe which I just love the color and I have a fun twist I'm going to show you guys at the end. You're going to need one lime, some red cabbage, purple kale, red beets, and some mixed berries. You're going to go ahead, same thing, wash everything, chop everything up so it's easy to just kind of throw it into your juicer and I'm just going to juice away super easy and see, juicing can be really simple and fun to do. So this is like the cool color uh, that we ended up getting from this juice and it ended up turning into this cool ombre purple uh, color which I loved and Davida did an amazing job catching these shots so thanks Davida for your awesome uh, filming skills. Then we threw in the berries into a blender, blended everything out. Up. Berries I don't really like to juice because they're kind of expensive and I just feel like you might lose a lot of it in the pulp So I just blend it up at the end you can strain it if you want to get rid of the seeds or you can just keep blending until it's smooth enough. I just loved the color of this juice and I love the unique flavor of the berries and the beets together. Definitely a must try. Mm -hmm.